Colin, you're one of the first to put the uh, CBs in play. You put the four iron in when it was a prototype. What made you switch to that? At the time you were playing, what, 770? I had 770. So I think I've played yeah. 770 for a year and a half, maybe two years, depending on when it came out. Yep. Four iron for me has always been a tricky club because one, I don't hit it as far as some guys and I don't launch it as high. So I try and find that perfect balance of, you can find clubs like a 770 that launches it higher, but sometimes you lose a little bit of the spin, you lose a, bit, a little bit of the control. So I've been fighting that going back and forth. You know, I had the P7 MCs, you know, in the six and five, and that wouldn't launch it high enough. Okay. And the 770 launched it almost too high. But so you got good spin nice. out of the MCs. But I got, I got great spin out of both. Launch. Yeah. I got great spin out of both. It's just sometimes you see that window. You know, I always talk about windows and when it launches. And you know, so I saw. I think I saw Rory first have it, and then I asked all you guys about it, and it's been great. It finds that perfect window for me. You know, that it's just, it's enough height to where I can get enough out of it, but then it's still able, I'm still able to control it and not lose that, like being able to work it left to right. How about right the look and feel of the, of the club? Crazy to me, it almost looks exactly like the MC. It doesn't look thicker. You know, the 770 is a lot, little chunkier. Like it looks like it's gonna just jump off the face. The CBs, like they look really thin. I mean, they look a very seamless progression even though I have blades, like it goes very, very easy into the set. Yeah. So that's nice. Cool. Let's hit a few four irons. Do you have a particular spin and launch you're looking for in a four iron? I mean, four iron, if we're spinning probably just above 4,000. Yeah. Um, launch, I have no clue. It's just like, just the just window. Obviously we're at like a range that goes like this. So yeah, it's going to look low. Tell. Um, but spin somewhere just above 4,000, honestly. Eleven to 4,600. 46, a little thin, like a little, little thin, spinny. Yep, so. A little more spin. Blush. That was perfect. Yeah, it's good there. 11, 8, 4,600. Yeah. As you say, some of it you're hitting uphill. It's kind of hard to. It's hard to keep like it keep down. it down. Exactly. Like that looked pretty low. I mean, that one was, that was actually probably. It's probably high a great forearm. forearm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like so, that's the hardest thing is like when you're working on a range like this, you can't get caught on trying to make it look nice because. Yeah. You never know, but that's like. I mean, that's a 232. That's exactly what two, I would want out of it. Yeah, 232 normalized. Just a tick missed. It's a tad thin, but it's consistent. Yeah, 45, 24. Yeah. Do you notice the CB being more consistent spin rates top to bottom? I've noticed in, like in? missing, like the miss hits. Like yeah. Everything's just so much tighter. And that's the crazy thing is like, I thought the 770 was really good. The problem was is like, I could only hit it full. So when I wanted to take distance off, which I like to do a lot, it was hard to get a little bit more spin, just, just enough to where you're not losing 15 yards, but you can take off five yards and just kind of add a little bit of that. Pure. Oh, that was great. It's good there. What was that Yeah, 45, 57, 11, yeah. five. I mean, it's the spin rates have been really consistent. Yeah, I mean, we haven't, I don't think like we've gone above 46. Yep. And if anything, this is like a little and Nothing's spinny. dipped too low. You're also, uh, I think you're our first guy out here to put a full set of CBs in play at the Scottish. <laughs> at the o Scottish in the Open, yeah. yeah. So like I did that, I mean, when I won the Open, I switched all to the MCs. Yeah. And I did it just because like the turf interaction. And it was weird. I put in the MCs again at Scottish and it just wasn't feeling right. And so I just had you guys build up a full set of CBs. And they were great. They were good for two weeks. I felt like the the toughest thing about playing in those firm conditions, like in Europe and at the Open, the gra the turf is so thin that if you miss hit it, it goes way offline and it spins so much more. Yeah. And at the Open, when it's windy, like that's the difference of a lot. You know, yeah. missing in a short of a pot bunker or in a bunker on the green, 
Um, so I just felt the consistency throughout the bag. I always go back to my normal like blade combo set, but you know these have been great kind of. But six, you didn't go five, back four. to your normal. You went back to the CBs. I and went the back five to the CBs. Six, so the, you, just because yeah. like, honestly, they look almost identical. Yeah. And just that extra little forgiveness. You know, you might get one shot every, not even tournament, but it might be one shot every three tournaments, right? Yeah. That might be worth it. So you notice more forgiveness in the CBs from the MCs. Just a little bit more MCs? forgiveness, yeah. And if, yeah. It, if anything, like I said, like. I want the launch to be that perfect window, and it's just right there. So feel very similar MCs to CBs. Feel very similar. The, I'd say the length, everything looks, it's almost identical. I'd say it's just a tick bigger in all, every aspect, but not where it looks like a different iron. I mean, you, I think you could hand it to people and say it looks like the same thing. With a little more forgiveness. Yeah, a little bit, but a little more forgiveness. Fifty-seven, fifty-three, so a thousand more than the four iron consistent. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm telling you, I think just this turf is making it spin a little bit more. Yeah, but it's like right at that perfect window for me. Good swings. A little better than the four. <laughs> 5,100, flatten that one out a little, but still yeah. above 5,000, which is 5, kind of the benchmark. And, yeah. If it dips below five on a five iron, is that concerning to you? A little bit. If you live around 5,000, it's good. Yeah. You know, it, for me, like, I need to live around the five to 52, any higher, like normal weeks. Yeah. It kind of gets a little dangerous, either too spinny or well, too spin knuckly. spin is control. And Spin's controlling control, your spin exactly. is distance control. And when that's I'm playing what... my best, I can control it, add the cut, add the spin. Yep. And that's everything right Speaking there. Speaking of spin, we're at altitude this week in Colorado. You're thinking of maybe going to a different golf ball. You've been playing the TP5X. Yeah. You're thinking of going to maybe the TP5? <sighs> thinking about going to the TP5. My first three and a half years, four years or something, I've played the TP5 and I've played the spinnier ball. Notice the X just fit the perfect windows for me a lot. I lived on the lower end of spin, um, but I've just noticed just kind of with my sling, it's, it's teetering on the low end. And I think, I mean, we're at 6,000 feet, a lot of elevation changes. If I hit some of these balls low spin, like it's not gonna look, it's not gonna look like a pretty flight. So I've, I'm kind of debating going back to the spinner ball. It's something I've played for a while. So, you know, it, it would be a change, but it'd be something I think I'd be comfortable with. Have you noticed any difference? You've played both balls around the greens or any, in, any other parts of the game, or are they both pretty similar? Honestly, I, if you asked me this four or five years ago when I first turned pro, yeah. I would have said yes. Now I think the balls are so similar around the greens that that's like, it's not even a factor. You know, I think they both spin really, really well. You get spin with wedges, they come out nice. The only thing with this, the X ball compared to the TP5 would be just a little bit different launch. The X launches just a tick higher, um, which could be good, but if I don't have spin, yeah, it's that balance of trying to Yeah, I think that's a big that advantage for our ball, as everyone yeah. says, is this, you think of the, X as being a firmer ball and maybe not being as good around the greens or at the wedges, but both our balls perform almost identical around the greens. And that's so. like, I think that's a thought like that I, like I said, I had five years ago, yeah. but once you start playing with them and I've played the X for over a year now, it's, it's not, it's not like that. They all spin inside that 80 yard, hundred yard range yeah. and everything else is you see on kind of eight irons and up. Like, yeah, you, that's you when you some start pretty, to see the uh, difference. Some pretty uh, good chips this year I've seen. I think those all landed in the same spot. Yeah, so. that's good. Let's hit a few six irons. Okay. Yeah, all your carries numbers, I mean, you're within like three yards. And On that five iron? Yeah. Do you see any other weeks you might go back to the uh, CBs? Besides just Full. the open? I know you've done it at the Tour Championship a couple times. You've I've done it. I think I've done it at the Tour. Um, Honestly, like when I'm not hitting it amazing, I sometimes yeah. like to put a full set. I, I always like to work the ball and that's why I like the blades. Like I think the blades, like I like small heads. I like just being able to just focus on hitting it center and, and working the ball. And I think sometimes I get lazy when I have a bigger head, but also sometimes I'm not hitting it well and I need that forgiveness and it tightens things up and it makes me not 
be so creative and just hit stock shots and the yeah. correct shot, really, you know? Kind of reset your swing a little? Exactly. It's a reset when, I, when I'm using them on different weeks. And it good today, huh? I mean, those are good. Yeah. I just needed a warm up with a four yeah. iron, and I think we're fine. Oh, a little weaker, but I mean, it's still all consistent. Like that's the one where, if I had a blade in, yeah, like that ball would be eight yards shorter, yeah. way more spin. And I think that was just control. Yeah, that went better. four yards shorter in the last one. All right, and I feel like I yeah. missed that quite a bit. So, yeah, pretty good. Good. Thanks, Keith. Thanks.